In Virinext for Maya, we've added GPU support for environment fog and aerial perspective. These are two different volumetric effects that can be used to simulate fog, atmospheric dust, and mist. The environment fog is more powerful and capable of producing volumetric shadows. Meanwhile, the aerial perspective calculates faster, but is more limited in its application. Let's take a look at how we can use these two options on GPU and see how they can enhance our scene. First, I'm going to double check our render engine is set to CUDA so that we're rendering on GPU, and then let's start the IPR. As you can see, we have a cozy little beach scene here with some surfboards and palm trees and mountains in the background. However, it's missing a sense of depth. Let's see how we can use volumetric effects like the environment fog to enhance the realism of our scene here. In the Overrides tab, let's expand the volumetric section and enable the Use Environment Volume checkbox. We will be prompted to specify a volumetric shader. Let's choose the V-Ray Environment Fog. Now, right away you'll see the scene turns dark because the fog distance parameter is too small. Let's open the fog's attributes and increase the distance a lot, let's say to 1000, and observe the effect this has. We can see that the scene is now visible because the fog becomes more transparent with larger values. To allow for global illumination to scatter in the fog and add more brightness to the scene, we can also enable the Scatter GI option. Note that as the scatter bounces are increased, this option becomes more intensive to calculate, but it can also significantly improve the realism of your images. Let's change a few more settings to achieve a more interesting look for our scene. For example, I'll increase the height so that the fog can cover the whole scene, but then reduce the density so the fog becomes thinner and we can see more of the scene through the fog. You'll see right away that a few tweaks to the environment fog settings can change the entire mood of our scene here. Let's bring the height back down a bit and experiment with changing the color of the fog to give the scene a more distinctive look or tone. Using the environment fog, you can experiment on your own with just the distance, height, and density parameters to quickly achieve a variety of different atmospheric effects for your scene. And, thanks to the GPU, you can get much faster results than before. Alright, let's remove the environment fog now by right-clicking and breaking the connection, and then try out the V-Ray Aerial Perspective instead. This effect is subtle at first, although you may have noticed already that the mountains in the far distance appear a bit hazier. Let's play with the parameters here now to see how we can create a more customized look and feel in our scene. If we lower the distance, the fog will become more dense. I'd also like to adjust the atmospheric height, but first, let's enable the Effect Environment checkbox. This will affect all the rays in the scene so that the sky color and sun shadows are now affected, giving us a brighter and hazier scene. Now, if we lower the atmospheric height, you'll see that this creates a misty and artistic look. Once more, we can also tweak the color to easily affect the mood. Okay, now that you've seen how these parameters work, I'm going to tweak these settings a bit further here to explore some different styles and find something I'm happy with. And there you go. Now you've seen how you can harness the speed of GPU rendering in V-Ray Next to enhance the realism of your scenes using V-Ray's powerful environment fog and aerial perspective effects.